Hi, my name is Scott from French Cassettes, and this is my dream tour. Uh, well, it's the it's the start of my dream tour. It's how it, how it all began. The dream, that is. So when I was in my early 20s, I worked at a clothing store downtown in San Francisco, and I was working back stock, and so they, I was up in like the second or third uh, floor, and just like spent the entire day mostly alone, just kind of to my with my thoughts and stuff. So. I had built up this fantasy over time, uh, especially on like kind of long days. So I'm just like folding clothes, fidgeting clothes is how you small uh, do small clothes like this. So I was folding clothes from down from down on the street. I hear this like low, rich voice, and it just goes, Scott, and I'm just like, I'm hearing stuff, you know. And so I go back to my clothes and I'm folding them again, and then once more from the street I hear. Uh, they, they shout out again, relentless, they go, Scott! And I'm just like, what is that? And so I, I put down my clothes and then I, I like run over to the, to the window and I open it up and I, I look down and there on the street is Julian Casablancas of The Strokes and I'm just like, J Julian? And then he, he goes, we're going on the road, get your stuff or something like that. And then I just go, but I, I can't, I'm, I'm working. And then he'll be like, not anymore, you're not. Or um, maybe cooler is like, um, oh, you're not going to need to work here anymore. Whichever one is cooler, I guess. Um, he'll decide that. But so I'm just like, I get all excited and I'm flustered. And so I, I uh, somehow I throw down my clothes the second time. I don't know. And then I run downstairs, there's a bunch of stairs. So I run all the way downstairs. And then I get I get down to the main floor where all my bosses are, and if I had an apron or something like a, some kind of hat to like kind of like throw, I would throw something. But I, but I everything I had on I needed, so um, I didn't throw anything. But I would say like they'd be like, "Where are you going?" And I'd be like, "I quit." And then I run out the front door, and he's standing there still. Like I'm, I didn't imagine him. And then um, I want to hug him. We probably don't hug, but I I, I run up to him and I was like, "What?" And he says, like, I heard your tunes. I dig them. I'm just like, what? And he's like, you got your guitar? I was like, no, I mean, it's at my house. I've got... And he's like, well, you're going to need it. We're going on the road. <laughs> I think he already said that, but he says it twice, I guess. <laughs> and then uh, and then we. I don't even... See, that's where the fantasy kind of stops. It, because, like, I don't even... I had made no plans as to, like, w uh, where... No, in my fantasy is like where we would go after that so I don't know it doesn't really matter but like if that's this if that was how we started then already dream tour just straight from work get on the bus uh, and then that's it and honestly like looking back I don't I don't even I don't think it's that far-fetched of a, of a fantasy I think uh, I think it could still happen um, Julian if you're watching I don't work there anymore but I uh, still got windows, so if you want to come by. But um, I, for some reason, I think there's still a shot. Right? <laughs>